intrigued about uh, your uh, vegan diet that you've been adopting for the last uh, year and a half and the, the PETA uh, campaign that you did a, a few weeks ago as well. I was just curious, was your decision to um, go vegan and join up with PETA, that, was that because of uh, treatment of animals or just you just like the diet and you just wanted to embrace the diet? And just can you give us some examples of what your diet's like now, just eating vegan food? Honestly, it's been like a little bit of both. Um, I think my life really um, came into a halt and, and, and questioned a lot of things after watching documentary after documentary um, about, you know, food, from food ink to what the health and watching things like that. So you realize the quality of food that you are getting isn't as premium as you think it is. And you can still survive, if not, you know, be more healthier without, you know, this this mental kind of defamation we've had for all our lives that we need plants. I mean, we need animals for food and protein when we can when we get all those things from plants. Uh, so on a daily basis, I try to incorporate as much greens as possible. Um, the way that I prepare, the way that I put my the things that I put my body through on a regularity. You know, just trying to get prepared for a game flow, it's a little different. You know, people understand, they see, you know, how big I am. They see, you know, the kind of body structure I do have. And I, I just, you know, kind of result that to, you know, my diet and the way that I've always been. God has given me this, this, this body and this talent. But at the same time, for me, I have to recover and staying hydrated and things like that. So not trying to eat foods that will inflame uh, my joints. And so that's, I, I, you cannot eat enough green veggies. Next question, Bill Burt. Well, here we are.